Welcome, Shinar. Um, it's just really wonderful having you on, on this uh, webinar with us. We really appreciate it. Um, it would be great to, obviously, for you to just quick intro about uh, what you do in terms of your your role, um, and obviously sharing your experiences as part of your journey through growth. Yeah. Thank you, Sarah. Hi, mm. everyone. I'm Shan Yu Khan, a mm. uh, learning program manager for Amazon. I come from Kashmir, which is a northmost part of India, full of snowy mountains, by the way. So mm -hmm. I do always miss the cold days in Mina. I don't know if you um, agree to that, Rowan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been in the learning and development for seven years now. and. Okay. It feels like yesterday, especially mm. now that I hear, you know, the, the amount of work you've done in all the ladies that are on the call have done in their uh, capacity. I worked mm. in diverse organizations and really helped shape our teams to be more efficient by transforming manual processes and drive automation. I'm a big yeah. fan of data and not having come from a computer science background and yet being, you know, tech savvy is, is quite mm. a blessing. Mm. <laughs> I must share so yeah. my career journey has kind of been uh, similar to my peers on the call today, except I don't have kids or a partner at the moment, but mm -hmm. there always comes a time when eventually your parents, they act like kids. So yeah, I'm there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I started mm -hmm. off uh, working part time and then made very thought over choices in joining roles and organizations in my initial phase of the mm -hmm. career. It's about that time when we're looking for financial independence the most, yet I followed to working in teams where I'll have something to learn while I practice my job as well. So mm -hmm. Amazon has been one of the best things that happened to me. And you have to know our recruitment process is very discreet. It's very straightforward. And we do have to agree that and believe that the one that we're hiring is better than 50% of the people who are already mm -hmm. working at Amazon. Mm -hmm. So that was quite a big, uh, big win when it happened. Mm -hmm. I started with working in Dubai soon after my graduation. And I do have a personal story to share mm -hmm. on this platform on Perfect. never really love stories. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so while many people also find the weather in UAE challenging in summer, coming from a mountain area where it's snowing, half of the year. I actually walked in on my, you know, went on a walk in on my search for a job until I saw this really fascinating building on the other side of the road. And I started walking towards it. After walking for what seemed like five minutes journey, it really was 25 minutes. Well, you know, mm. the proverb, once mm -hmm. a desert, always a desert. <laughs> and then the heat, you know, how mm. uh, of uh, how full the summer is of heat. So after reaching there, I did not make it inside as I should have had an appointment to get in. So, you know, mm. that's just basic. Of course, I felt bad and I did leave with a really heavy heart. So, yeah, that's that, that felt like, you know, okay, this is not working and everything is just falling apart. Mm. But here's what, where this gets really interesting. Six years later, uh, after obviously I joined Amazon, I drive to my office at Amazon and park my car, I turn around, and that building was right next to my office, with only mm -hmm. one difference, that Amazon building was bigger, much bigger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and that happened in the middle of a pandemic. So mm -hmm. the, the whole point of me sharing that story, and by the way, being the first platform where I shared the story, is that as women, sometimes we do doubt ourselves when things don't happen a certain way. And in these moments, you have to reiterate that faith in yourself, that faith in your development and in the universe that already has a plan for you to reach back mm -hmm. yeah. from where you started. So just maybe not in the right now, but at the perfect time. We all have our chat you know, those challenges that we see, but success comes once we've identified those challenges and worked on our barriers by believing in ourselves and by having that faith intact. At Amazon, I joined as a contractor and within a year I was promoted to an internal position. So that passion for learning never really ended. 
as a program mm -hmm. manager, there's a lot you have to take care of. And that too, when we've got three regions um, in the MENA itself, so it's Middle East, North Africa. And as I look around, I see these lovely ladies even on the call with me. I'm truly inspired on hearing their wonderful stories. My manager at the moment is a woman at Amazon um, who has done nothing other than support me in my development ever since I've joined. And as leaders, it's really inspiring to see women supporting other women. I think that's the best thing that as women we can do is support other women to be better, have each other's back. So what has really also shaped me um, in my career is this self-service approach. I mean, I've been able to not have a problem with picking my own boxes, opening my own car door, drive by myself, do my groceries alone, and really take a breather, breather and focus. And this is where I resonate with Amazon as we're trained to help have a self-service approach where all the resources are available to us, including mentors. I have two mentors in completely different geographies, and this is the approach that helps us in our professional and personal life as well. And to add to Ravan's point, I have as well been constantly uh, considering who are the people I want to be around. And I, th I think, I mean, I'm still, I'm, I'm kind of still in the, um, you know, in the, in the idea of how do I put them in different brackets and really, you know, categorize and put those criteria around, the, uh, around them. But I think the best that you can do is make sure that the toxicity is out of your life because that can really be uh, very difficult for your personal growth and your mental health as well. So I think taking out that toxicity out of your life, those people that add toxicity, it doesn't matter who it is, um, but yes, getting them out, those people, those specific people out of your life is the best thing that you can do, figure it out. And then, yeah, I'll be adding more to those criteria, but toxicity is one of the major, um, major criteria that I have at the moment. So, nice, great, nice, nice. Yeah.